morning everyone hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend so far as you can see um, GPS is off so I, I think this is just gonna be a normal issue I don't I guess the hardware in the car might just not be able to able to um, auto steer aborted system error I think that's strictly because the GPS was off and it freaked out because of it Let's see if it lets me re-enable it here in a sec. There it goes. Okay. I think it should be good right now. Um, but, yeah, I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. Um, I'm hoping by the time you see this, it'll be tonight, Saturday night. This is our first drive of 10.10.2. .10 um, and I, I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be very minimal, if any, changes on this version. Uh, I think it's just a few bug fixes and it's just because of the NTHSA, they um, have to abide by the traffic stop um, thing to make sure that's fixed. They're probably doing EV tests and a bunch of different stuff. So that's probably what they're focused on is making sure that indeed has been resolved, uh, which is great. Um, but it kind of sucks because we're not seeing any um, super tangible improvements. Interesting. So what it's gonna do? I see if it stays over to the right. Yes, yeah, see. Oh, that's a little bit better. No, that see that right. right. I'm going to do this because there's no one behind me or in front of me. Okay. So I had to press the accelerator because I was slowing down to get onto the highway. We're gonna go ahead and press that. Uh, because it should, obviously it shouldn't be slowing down to get onto the highway. So obviously that's that's a problem. Um, but otherwise I made it wrong. It just it's so hesitant on that on ramp. That it, it, stuff like that can't improve. I just like that's what bugs me when I when Elon says, Oh, there's gonna be level four by the end of the year, I'm like, is there? Is there really there hasn't been a tangible like like substantial improvement in the last like six months like is there really gonna be in another six months from now like level four i'm like i don't think so if there were like Im like noticeable improvements every update i'm like well this is fixed now this is fixed now this is fixed and i'm like sure that's probably gonna be that's probably gonna happen but because we don't like you can see by my videos like what's been improved and what hasn't been improved um I do want to eventually, maybe next weekend, I'm gonna try and spend some time and get a comparison video out. Like, in the last six months or last year, like how much has full self-driving improved in the last year? Blah, blah, blah. And we'll see. Like, and then we'll compare it to six months and like, well, has it really improved in the last six months? And I mean, it has, but in different ways. Uh, not in ways that I would like to see it continue to improve. So, we'll see. Okay, let's see how it does getting off the highway here. Again, uses it slow a little bit more smoothly. It's using full region, but it's also using friction brake. You can tell it's using friction brakes. Uh, it's trying to uh, decelerate too rapidly. But otherwise, very good. I well, it didn't use the blinker early enough, but good. We'll see how it does going through this intersection. Improved over the previous one, at least that one was also at night I think or darker so it could have been also the sun that caused that issue but it definitely um, it took that corner at least as smooth as the best time before there's still some phantom braking on this version I've heard from a couple others that phantom braking has been pretty bad uh, it doesn't seem any worse than 10.10 .10 or 10.9 for that matter but still there for sure I'm hoping on this route 
I haven't done this route since getting the new, ma new map data. So we'll see. Um, it should be slowing down already for this yellow light up ahead. And it took until it got around the bend before it started slowing down. That being said, I think that is still an appropriate distance. It's this is this is great, great slowdown for the yellow light. And then reacceleration is still what it does is it kind of accelerates a little bit, pauses, and then c continues to accelerate. Like it wants, like it looks both ways, like a human does, but the car doesn't need to look both ways. Yeah, see, it's trying to get over it. That's wrong. It should not get over. And maybe the reason we tried to get over is because of this car. I wasn't reading the message on the screen. But again, because of this merge lane, why get over in the right lane when you have to get back over into the left lane? It makes no sense. And it makes no sense at all. That, that just, there's no reason for it. And the car, from good map data, should be able to look on the map like, hey, there's a merge lane. Why are we going to get in the merge lane to get back over in the left lane again? And it just automatically decides that. That will happen one day. But it's still the hasn't done it currently and the only reason it's slow in here is because of this car this is an appropriate speed to go over these railroad tracks but it normally flies over the railroad tracks we have another member um, if you're watching you know who you are um, and he has the same problem uh, here going over these exact railroad tracks they go way too fast um, and hopefully it's a uh, We'll fix that in time. It needs to see a railroad crossing. Like, hey, we need to slow down just for the comfort of the passengers, not necessarily because it has to, because it just, you know, it's a pretty bumpy ride going over railroad, railroad tracks at full speed. Okay, so it braked too hard right there. It's like it's. The car right here surprised it and decided to brake a little bit harder instead of going smooth into the turn lane. One thing I can say with all these harsh shadows, so far, uh, I'm gonna jinx ourselves, I guarantee you we're gonna jinx ourselves, but phantom braking does seem to be improved, um, at least with these harsh shadows. Uh, I don't think I got one phantom break on that last section of road. Uh, this road also normally gets some, so we'll see if we get any here. Okay, so we got, I think it has the speed limit right now. I can't remember actually if it changed to 25 here or not. Um, now coming back is the real question whether or not it has the 25 mile an hour speed limit on the way back out. And that will be for the next video. Um, good turn. Good. Um, yep. Perfect speed for that turn. I mean, I'd be. I would personally be comfortable with it going faster. And since our turn is right here, this is not actually where we're going. Uh, we're gonna stop. So that was a uh, zero disengagement drive, everyone. Uh, that's great. That's what we want to see every single time, though there's still room for improvement. I'm always going to be critical until it's like perfect. Once this drive is perfect, I, I probably will stop recording it every single time. Um, well, we're definitely going to have to... Have to wait until it's perfect. The test is going to have to do a lot of optimization for sure. Okay, um, yeah, that was a great drive, everyone. Uh, the only thing, the biggest thing that needs to improve... It, on eggs. My dog, we're going on a hike. But it, the only thing that really needs to improve is the getting in the... Trying to get in the right lane to go on a merge, um, back in the merge lane. So that needs to stop. Um, and then I think this will be a great drive. If you have any questions for me, put them down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.